What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Now, I originally didn't even want to do this video because, like, I tried not to focus so much on um, some of the dumb YouTube users, but you guys make it hard, so I'm just going to go in. I'm just going to go ahead and expose it and give you that uncut 100% truth. And in this video, what I want to do is talk about Canelo Alvarez. I've done it in previous videos. Um, I'll put a link to one of the similar videos that I made about this, but... I'm hearing a lot of chit chatter in the boxing community about Canelo Alvarez and a lot of comments about him fighting Mayweather and basically from Canelo fans a lot of people are saying if Mayweather doesn't fight him in May and he chooses Robert Guerrero then Mayweather's pussy and he's ducking and yada 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 and the funniest thing to me with that whole situation is Mayweather's been a factor in the sport of boxing and dominant he's undefeated over 16 years I believe and Canelo has turned pro when he was 15 I believe in Mexico and he has over 40 fights they have about the same amount of fights but there's nobody on Canelo's resume that holds even a candle to some of the people that Mayweather fought at the time that they fought like when Mayweather fought um Gennaro when he fought Diego Corrales these people were feared in the sport of boxing and actually ranked um, <clears throat> Excuse me in their division as like the top the guy to beat type thing um, And then he's fought some other people later in his career off of impressive wins like Shane Mosley Shane Mosley I'm not gonna say Shane Mosley was in his prime, but he was off a tremendous and impressive performance against Margarito Um so it's just funny to me because I see so much hypocrisy in the sport of boxing. Like, if you if you don't know boxing, then you probably should take a seat back. Like, because I don't think some of you guys look at all the facts. And this is not even a diss against Canelo. Um, I definitely think Canelo has potential. He has a skill set. Um, he's not invincible. But he's a good fighter. I just don't see why so many people are so high up on the Canelo pedestal. And we really haven't even seen this dude tested. We haven't even seen... Um, how he responds and yet so many people have so much faith in what he can do and what he won't do and or excuse me what he will do against certain fighters and we haven't even seen that we haven't even seen that <clears throat> and I really don't understand that logic um, if I had a friend and he was a rapper and he's like man I'm the best rapper out I'll battle anybody I, have the, I got the tightest flow I'm more lyrical than Eminem but I never heard him rap or I barely heard him rap. Like I, you know what I mean? I heard like a quick snippet of it. I'm not going to go co-signing that guy and, and go to record, uh, A&Rs and, uh, various parties and clubs and say, Oh hey, give him the mic. He can spit. I'm not vouching for somebody. I have to see like people have to show and prove at least for me. So the funny thing is with me, so many people are so willing to co-sign Canelo and say he's the, you know what I mean? The next coming to Jesus. He's, He's the prodigal one and the prodigal son or whatever of boxing. He's the savior. He's the next dude. Um, but what have you seen from him that makes him so impressive in terms of like his competition? I'm not saying like, again, he like, of course, if he's, if he's a hundred, if he fights at 154 pounds and he's a big 154 pounder, of course, he's going to bully someone like Josecito Lopez who went up two weight classes in a year i mean so to me i can't i can't be that impressed um with that it's like if vitaly klitschko like if he beat like someone who's like a cruiserweight or somebody who's smaller than him i don't really give him credit but if he knocks out david hay or some or chisora or somebody like that <coughs> excuse me who's equal in size then i mean i gotta give him props so again with canelo i'm not saying he's a bad fighter he definitely has a skill set he has potential but I really don't understand the hypocrisy. Like, why are people think that Canelo is the savior and you haven't really even, we haven't even seen him, like, tested just because of the level of opposition. He fought Shane Mosley um, after Shane Mosley lost against Floyd Mayweather, had a draw with Sergio Mora and didn't look good in that fight. That's why it ended in a technical draw. Then he lost to Pacquiao and then we seen him fight um, Pacquiao. Or, excuse me, then we seen him fight Canelo. And then um, another person on Canelo's resume, Carlos Baltimore. Carlos Baltimore was fairly inactive from the sport. 
I think he fought two times in, in two years, so once a year. He's older, and um, I think he lost one of those fights. I got I to I gotta research it, but I think he lost one of those fights, and he was 40. He was like 40, 41. <coughs> Shane Mosley. Shane Mosley was about to be 41, and that's when he fought Canelo. He was like months away from his birthday. Um, Kermit Cintron. At the time, Kermit Cintron fought Canelo. He did lose. It was TKO. Kermit Cintron had a name at one point and had gave us good fights against Sergio Martinez and stuff like that, but he was well removed from from that level of competition. Um, and uh, Kermit Cintron, he lost two out of three of his previous fights right before facing Canelo. So, I mean, that just goes to show you he's not on a winning streak. So the hypocrisy comes in when people are saying Mayweather's scared, he's chicken, he's ducking, um, if he doesn't fight Canelo in May. And in my opinion, who has more to prove? Mayweather's legacy is coming to a close. He's, you know, I mean, he's in his 30s, and he's been in the sport over 16 years. He's already proved what he has to prove. Like his legacy, <clears throat> no matter what happens, his legacy is pretty much intact. Whereas Canelo is like 40 fights, 40 plus fights deep, and he hasn't even fought nobody. So I just don't understand it. Like I don't understand some of the. And then like some of the people are saying Mayweather's choosing. He's um pussy for choosing an easier fight which is robert guerrero um but if you look at it at least robert guerrero is on a winning streak at least you know what i mean robert guerrero he won his last two fights at welterweight and he looked and you could say he looked good in them um <clears throat> he didn't get knocked down in either fight it shows he has a chin and then he won and against Berto, he didn't even a lot of people didn't even give him a chance and he he won that fight convincingly so I don't really understand, and I just watched, a, <clears throat> this really what sparked it, I just watched a, a boxing video where the person said, I guess they're a Canelo fan, um, they said, if Canelo chooses to fight Miguel Cotto in May, they're okay with that, and that's a good idea, because um, Miguel Cotto is a tough opponent, and that's a step up in competition, but I don't see it like that, I look at like, if Canelo is what he is supposed to be, like uh, like what Golden Boy is making him out to be, then why has he not fought a legitimate 154-pounder? Why would he fight Miguel Cotto, who is clearly... Um, I don't consider Miguel Cotto a true 154-pounder. Um, you look at him... You, I mean, if you just look at his frame in comparison to like a canine Bundridge or the height difference with the Austin Trout or... <clears throat> you know what I mean? Any of those dudes, he doesn't really fit the frame of the typical 154 pounder he's a small 154 pounder so and he's off of two losses back to back he lost convincingly to mayweather and he lost convincingly to austin trout so how is that a step up that makes no sense how is that a step up in competition if he's fighting a, a, another guy who lost two of his previous fights and is on the downside of their career and i love miguel Cotto. i think he's an excellent champion um we all know what his resume. He's never ducked anybody. Uh, Miguel Cotto is <clears throat> he's a true warrior, but at the same time, he, I mean, he hasn't looked. If he hasn't looked impressive and he lost his last two fights, how is that justifiable? But if Mayweather fights Guerrero, who's won his last two fights, then Mayweather's a pussy and he's ducking Canelo. Like, <coughs> excuse me, it just doesn't make sense. So you're gonna knock Mayweather because you dislike him for fighting a guy who's on a two-win streak. Um, and the guy that is potentially willing to fight, um, uh, Miguel Cotto is on a two loot, two loss streak. That's okay with you. And I'm not saying that the Miguel Cotto and, uh, Canelo fight will be arranged by team Canelo. I'm just saying this is, um, kind of the attitude that I've seen with typical Canelo fans, like just people who just are diehard Canelo fans. Like they're okay with her fighting Miguel Cotto. But they're also the ones that are calling Mayweather a pussy for fighting someone who's on a two-win streak, which is possibly uh, most likely going to be Robert Guerrero. So, again, I don't understand the hypocrisy. Um, there's a lot of it in the sport of boxing. It just usually means to me that the people aren't really informed. They don't really know much about the sport. And, they, you know what I mean, they're bandwagon. They pick the fighter that they want or they like or that has the same um, nationality as them or whatever. But... I just think you got to be realistic, like no matter what your nationality, your creed or whatever, just be realistic, um, state the facts. And the fact is Canelo, he, he might have all the potential in the world, but we don't really know until he's tested. There's a lot of fighters like that. Um, 
Gary Russell Jr. is another one. I've seen him do some impressive things, and he has hand speed. Um, I think he's definitely a huge prospect, and he could have a blowout year. But at the same time, his level of competition has not been the toughest guys in his division. So we can't say. We, we can say he looked impressive against the, the, the C and maybe B-minus class fighters that he's fought, but he hasn't fought nobody. So, again, I just don't understand why people are so quick to ride with somebody and co-sign them and they haven't really seen anything so i'm anxious to see canelo who he chooses i definitely think he needs to fight a legitimate 154 pounder um it looks like edis Londi, laura and um matriosin are gonna do a rematch most likely so i don't think he'll be able to fight them canine bundridge has a, a belt and i'm not even saying he can't beat canine bundridge because canine bundridge is sloppy or or whatnot but at the same time Canine Bundridge is a full-fledged 154-pounder. He's a he's a big dude, and he could make it awkward for him. I think uh, Canelo would outbox him, but that's just my opinion. But I would at least be content seeing him fight somebody like who who fits the the division a lot better in terms of weight. Um, that's just my personal opinion. And as far as Canelo fighting Floyd Mayweather, um, I think Mayweather's more skilled. Um, it would be a competitive fight because Canelo has things like size. If Canelo didn't have the size he has, then I think it would be a lot easier fight um, for Mayweather. But due to his size and the, the style of fight in terms of he fights with uh, combination punches, I think he could uh, give Mayweather problems because, again, that's not Mayweather's best weight. Mayweather's definitely not a full-fledged 154-pounder. Um, so I think that would be an interesting fight. I think Mayweather's a better... Um, more technically sound skilled fighter but canelo could complicate things um based on his size and the fact that he's patient and he he mixes up his punches and, and throws combinations so we'll see if that fight happens but until then just as far as you fight fans be realistic stop being so hypocritical don't knock a guy who dominated the sport for over 16 years and is fighting people on win streaks but you're you're gonna knock that person but you're you're um praising the person who hasn't fought anybody with about the same amount of fights and he's fighting people on losing streaks and people who haven't looked good in their previous three fights doesn't make sense that's my opinion leave a comment let me know what you think till next video ego signing off